We need to find Cora and talk with her. She made it sound like his life or death. Have any new books for me? We need to find Cora and talk. Read any good books lately? A brief history of time. If bye. Thanks for grabbing me. Cora wanted something, and I was hoping you could humor her. For me. Cora. Cora. So, what's so important that you needed us? Thank you for talking to me. I got something super important. Something's wrong with Mom. Are you just figuring this out? No. She's in trouble. It's been too long since she's written me. Wait, you write each other? Focus. We need to find Mom. You believe me, right? We were reading the Count of Monte Cristo together, and she hasn't gotten back to me. She's a slow reader, but it's been too long, even for her. She always sends a message when she's finished, but I haven't heard anything. Very serious. Listen, trust me, Lillian Hart is not in trouble. She eradicates trouble. That's her thing. This is not normal. I don't even know where she's stationed, Gumdrop. Dad. She's on Neon. I know this is a whopper of a favor to ask, but there will be no end to this until we see Lillian and clear this all up. Thanks. You being willing to do this, it means a lot. Bring all your guns and armor and stuff. It's going to get serious. Lillian will be at the Ranger Outpost on Neon. That's Jalen uh, Price's office. So, if she's out, he should be able to help. It should be easy. Of course, he's Lillian. Everything will be back to normal. Hi! Stay right up front. Here.
outlaws? Sure, Laredo makes... to challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills. Ryujin is hiring the best and brightest of today. Welcome back. Listen, feel free to use anything. Wait, is that Sam Ko? You have a lot of nerve. Here to yell at Lillian personally? Maybe change things up a little? Listen, this ain't about me. It's about the kid. Oh, uh, I didn't see you, Princess. Sorry. So why are you here, then? Besides him ditching the Rangers to join what was it, Constellation? Lillian Hart is a hell of a ranger, and every single time she gets a message from him, it just makes her job that much harder. He should just do us all a favor and get out of our lives. Sam drug you all the way out here. That is a favor. But Lillian, sorry. I'm afraid I cannot disclose that information. You do remember that from your ranger days, Sam. About civilians not being allowed to know sensitive information and all that. It's Cora, right? I just can't say anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Best I can do is say you can file a petition. Getting approval, though, can take weeks. For the girl's sake, if I see Lillian, I'll let her know. But that's all I can do. Well, that got us nowhere. Dad, can you look around? Maybe there's something here. It's not a bad idea, but uh, Ranger Smiley over there won't like that. Looks like it's my turn to make a fool of myself. I'll keep the uh, nice gentleman occupied. You can look around. So what exactly is your problem with me, Jim? Where to begin? Lillian got you into the Ranger. And you basically spit in her face. Hey, I never wanted to be a Ranger. All that is...
Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. What'd you find? Well, it is something. So she had a confidential informant. Huh. An address of Lillian's confidential informant? What's a confidential informant? A snitch. Someone that works for bad people, but is helping the authorities on the side. Well, looks like we have a lead. No name, but an address works. Shall we? Well, as long as we don't make too much noise, we should be fine. Neon's always got people coming and going, but... Uh, something's not right here. Not at all. Let's hurry up. And the field trip continues. Now be careful, Cora. Dad! Not the best neighborhood. Door's locked. Well, yeah. You'd have to be certifiable to leave your door unlocked on Neon. What are you doing? Picking the lock. <laughs> what? Where the hell did you learn to do that? A book. Oh, and Vladimir. Uh, I told you nothing good will come from those books. I can't believe my little Cora is picking locks. No, she's a little sponge. Always has been. Just soaking up books and learning like no one's business. But Vladimir and I are gonna have some words. Oh, <laughs> okay. So you're gonna give her tips now. Thought I was supposed to be the bad influence here. But seriously... Dragging her all over creation? Uh, maybe Lillian's right. Well, Neon's a rough town. She's waltzing through it like it's nothing. You really think so? I mean, I know you said Constellation's good for her. You really think that? Even now? Lock's done. Well, I guess that's our cue. Cora. Dad, I've seen worse. He's just dead. Yeah, okay. Well, stay away from this. I mean it, Cora. We'll investigate. If that's the CI, does that mean Mom... Mom's as tough as they come. It does mean that whatever she's involved in... Well, it's not some milk run. Looks like you found it. A slate. What's it say? Shit. Sioka Syndicate. Some Victor compound, some stuff about fake IDs and cover details. Lillian's doing a deep cover up on the Syndicate. Oh, it's bad. The Syndicate is a mean customer. Even the Rangers don't tussle with them unless they have an important reason. <sighs> Lillian, what the hell were you up to? My thoughts exactly. Cora, listen to me. This is too dangerous. No. 
The Syndicate is very real and very deadly. There's no way. No, you listen, Dad. I'm not eight anymore. I know I can't shoot or anything. But she's my mom. I can be a pair of eyes. I know things. I will be useful, promise. If mom... And I could have done something about it and didn't... I know that look. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Listen, Cora, you have to stay out of the action. Stay safe, all right? I understand. I promise. All right. Let's go find your mother. I knew something was wrong, but not like this. Touchdown. Okay, give me a second. I still know some Ranger secure frequencies. This is Ko. Hart, you there? Please respond. Hart here, acknowledged. End. Frequency secured. Sam? Sam, what are you doing here? Mom! Oh, you gotta be. Sam, you didn't bring my daughter here, did you? Not the time or place. What's your status? We will be talking about this later. Cover is intact for now, but the clock's ticking down fast. Too fast. A distract and extract should do it. Like old times. Great. Just great. And Sam, if even one hair on Cora's head gets hurt... We are 110% on the same page. Comms out. All right. Well, time for us to make an entrance. You're still in, right? She needs us to distract the Syndicate so she can shed her cover and then make it to the extraction point. Yeah, we've done a couple of runs like this before. Hope I'm not too rusty. I owe you. Big time. Come drop. Take my binoculars from my bag. You're our eyes, okay? You tell us about anything you see. Roger. You move one solitary inch away from that perch, and you will be grounded until you're 30. I am not kidding. This is my deadly serious face, yeah? I got it. I got it. I won't move. Good. <sighs> oh, this has to be the most half-baked idea. Okay, let's make it happen. The Syndicate is bad. Now that's just bracing. Kind of nice, though.
victor goes the spirits. I said that right, right?
You're the new ranger, right? I see the stories about you weren't exaggerated. Thanks. Looks like I get to play hero for once. I gotta say, your timing is spot on. My cover was hours from being blown to hell. We have a lot to talk about, but let's get to your ship first. Let's just say you made quite the impression on my daughter. Kinda wish I didn't know so much about you, honestly. Except for any stragglers, yes. By the time they send some reinforcements, we'll be long gone. I did say thanks, right? I can't wait to put this place behind me. Hello, Captain. My oh, day just got God, a whole Cora. lot brighter. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine, Mom. I was so worried about you. I'm fine. You're fine. Everyone's fine. Now it's time for me to kill your dad. No! He tried to keep me away, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Oh, I swear, you two are both stubborn as mules. I need to talk to the captain of the ship. If it weren't for you, I don't know what would have happened to Mom. This is your ship, right? I hate to ask, but I'm gonna need some more assistance with my mission. Are you for real? Weren't you just chewing me out about putting Cora at risk? Think, Sam. What if you were spotted? Either here or I assume Neon. It means the Syndicate may come after all of you. The only way to get us to be really safe is to see this through. I think the Sioka have found a way to intercept some of our secure transmissions. We can't trust traditional communication. I have a limited window where the intel I gathered is actionable, so I'm afraid it's just us. That's fair. Just like Lillian. Straight from one fire to the next. That's the job, Sam. You know that. There's a shipment of armaments coming in on a heavy freighter, the Duma. I know it's itinerary. But I don't know where the arms are being stored. If we find the cash, we can lure out a Sayoka underboss, Valerie Mascara. The worst kind of criminal. She's smart. Too smart. She's convinced a number of the Sayoka to think outside the box. She has plans larger than Neon, and that makes her very dangerous. Yes. What do you think? Well, taking out one ship isn't that bad. And the gold is good. Oh, 
always is with you, Lillian. Gladly. So we get the location of the cache from the Duma. Then we make our move. Thank you.
You know, normally I don't like working with you. Take care. against everything Constellation stands for, what I stand for. But the mission has got to come first, so keep it together. You know, Constellation's the first... I'll find some way to occupy myself.
know what to make of you at first. Always a pleasure. Stopping by for a chin wag, Captain? Excellent. We know where the cash is now. I know the top Valerie uses. It'll be very secure, and if you trip the alarm, it'll send a distress call out. Valerie wants to arm the Syndicate and start preying on all the little outposts and space stations that are far away from Ranger's protection. She's not a pirate. She's an extortionist. And if we let her get her hooks into these people, it could take generations before it's clean. Right now, we have a chance to stop a problem before it starts. We can count on at least one ship being within range. Maybe two. Valerie has more robots than men, so expect hard targets. <laughs> it's time we deal with Valerie once and for all. Whatever you need, you've got it. Excellent. We know where the cache is now. I know the top Valerie uses. It'll be very secure, and if you trip the alarm, it'll send a distress call out. Valerie wants to arm... She's not a pirate. Right now, we have... We can count on at least one ship. Valerie has more robots. <laughs> it's time we deal with Valerie one.
out the new Stroud Eklund. Hey, what can I do for you? Fiddle with the cash door, the alarm will go off. So if you want to set up any traps or surprises for the syndicate, do that first. and secret door. the good stuff. Leave the rest. Another dead jackass. Got him.
thrashing through the door. Nobody.
things get out of control. Sam has had a lot to say about you. I can't believe you're fine with bringing my daughter along on all your adventures. And encouraging Sam with all this consolation is great for core nonsense. It's dangerous. I, well, I didn't know that. I'll have to talk with her. And maybe Sam too. So I'm sure Sam's told you all about me. Go on, ask whatever you want. It's complicated, oh so complicated. Cora is the one who reached out to me a couple years ago. We exchanged messages. Then the little scam convinced me to join a book club with her. I mean, books are fine, but the looks I got from my fellow rangers reading Alexander Dumas, <laughs> we do strange things for kids. A confidential informant was supposed to arrange transport off that rock, but I lost contact with him. The syndicate got to him, and it was only a matter of time before they found me out. I owe you for the assist. He did? That's some serious ancient history. Mm, well, we came across what remained of the pirates that attacked him, and the way he flew, fearless, brave, unpredictable. If there were any contraband on his ship, that would be such a waste of talent. Fortunately, any cargo he had was jettisoned in the fight. Understood? I'm sure we'll talk again. And it's over. I could see why they were eager to recruit you for the Rangers. Incredible? I'll have to remember that. We need to talk. I mean, really talk, Lillian. Maybe somewhere private? No, I might need a little... Damn it, emotional support, all right? Thank you. If you want to fight in front of your friend, I'm ready. I know you don't approve of Cora being with me. Don't you see why? If you keep this up, she could get hurt, or killed, or worse. Yeah, but she hasn't. She's been safe. I've been keeping her that way her whole life. And she's not a little girl anymore. She helps keep me alive, too. Hey, back me up here. I'll keep her safe. You know I will, right? I know you try your very best, but what Constellation does, there's so much risk. I don't agree with your decision. I don't think I ever will, but I'll make my peace with it. All right? Listen, all this, this, it has to stop. I, every time we talk, it makes me want to punch a wall. I don't want to be mad at you. I really don't. Lillian, I don't know if what we had was ever love, but we used to like each other. We need to get back to at least being civil, for Cora's sake. It's hard, but you're right. Isn't this good, Lillian? Yeah, it actually is. If we were going to be really honest here, Sam, Cora and you, we were always together. 
back when we were a team. Cora would follow you everywhere, like a little adoring dog. I just fell out of it long before we separated. Lillian, I, um... Uh... No. No, Sam. I need to get this out. But it's not fair that I take that out on you. Um... Sorry, all right? Thank you. I know. It's, it's my fault, too. Truce? Truce. But I need something, Sam. I need to see my daughter more. These messages just hurt. They're such a tease. And she misses you. But Lillian, the last three times we planned something, you bailed twice. Twice. Every time you do that, it destroys Cora. And I'm the one that has to deal with it. Maybe we should take it slowly. Try and work up to some visits. That's fair. And Lillian, you know I care for you, right? But you and me? I know. We were over before we even began. Look, it's none of my business, I know, but... You need to put yourself out there. And there's bound to be someone, hell, lots of someones, that would be thrilled for the complete Lillian Hart badass ranger package. Actually, I know a certain person on Neon Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm just saying. There are people that would do right by you. There's more to life than rangering. I'll, I'll think about it. Oh, my. You're... You're terrible. <laughs> oh, that was priceless. Now it's my turn. Sam, you... You're a good dad. I know I don't say it enough, but you are. But there is more to life than being Cora's father. So same advice to you. Find someone. Maybe you already have. Well, aren't you just loving the turnabout and fair play nonsense? See you around, Sam. So you see why I like her? I mean, we were never a good fit. But Lillian's good people. Well, maybe not the best. I think rather highly of myself. And uh, a few others. <laughs> I, mean, I got a lot to think about. You know, for the first time in ages, I feel good. <laughs> really good. So listen, in Aquila City, there's an old haunt of mine. On a balcony near a good old statue of Solomon Co. I want to show you. And have our own real talk, okay? Or maybe figure out a way to repay you. Hope no one recognizes me here. Your ship's not 
Russia's doing well for herself. Laredo is a big player in arms manufacturing. Ashes are sometimes spotted by the farm. The latest That's why we only use robots outside the walls. Thanks for coming here with me. You know, I used to truly hate this place. When I was a kid, I'd throw stones at that statue. Just beamed him over and over. <laughs> Almost got arrested for it once. Shopkeep called the ranger over, who chewed me out good. But once he found out I was a co, he just cut me loose. Actually said, you of all people shouldn't do that. I wanted to shout. I'm the only one who deserves to. <laughs> but I managed to hold my tongue. It was a close one. I can personally attest that the sculptor didn't skimp on the materials. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the post-mission glow. <laughs> I, uh, I miss the old guy. Maybe even Aquila City. A little. With all that's gone on, with what we've been through, I finally feel... <laughs> at peace. What happened with Lillian at the end, not pretty. But, we finally know where we stand. Oh, not well. I mean, they'll still be able to mail each other and do vid calls. She just doesn't understand that unless you're the Freestar Collective, Lillian can't be relied upon. I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm sensing a theme. But you know, behind every lucky star that's come my way lately, I see, uh... You. I've talked with you about things no one, and I mean no one, else knows. Well, your words have been a great comfort. You know, you live long enough, and you can just get covered in garbage. From the mistakes, the betrayals, the misfortune. It makes it easy to lose sight of the things you should be thankful for. Yeah, that's all you did. Right. When we met, originally, and I heard you wanted to travel together. I didn't know what to think. It seemed you waltzed into Constellation so quickly and easily. I thought maybe you were like Walter's bastard kid or ward or something. But, uh, you know, you're pretty amazing. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I just said that. Well, can't argue with that. I just want you to know, come thick or thin, hell or high water, I'm there for you. Every time. So let's go, partner. 